Hello everyone, I'm often enabling and disabling my mods. There are some series that I am doing that I don't want to use mods. So I normally like for my build a world challenge, I normally disable my mods before I go into that save file. And when I'm playing alone on my own, not making videos for YouTube, I actually do have my mods enabled most of the time. I often, if I'm doing build videos, I disable my mods because I prefer to build without mods. I don't have a lot of um, like furniture CC in my game. I do have a lot of mods, but not a lot of like custom content like build items or create a sim items. So to disable and enable your mods, it's pretty easy. You don't even have to be in a save file. You can just be on your home screen. And to disable your mods, my mods are enabled at the moment. So to disable, you just click on options and click on game options. And you're gonna scroll down to other. And you're just gonna untick enable custom content and mods. So you just untick that and you click okay. And you don't ever have to worry about this because this will automatically be disabled if you um, untick the custom content and mods. So you know, I don't really worry about the script mods. It's, it's disabled anyway as soon as you disable this one. And then you want to click on apply changes and then close this window. And so for your mods to be disabled, you do have to exit out of your game and go back into it. So my mods are still enabled. As you can see, there's all these little pop-ups, Wicked Worms, Base Mental. So my mods are still enabled. So I do have to exit my game to, to make it take effect. So I'm just gonna exit, we don't need to save. All right, so now my mods are disabled in my game. So we don't have an option for an exciting woohoo. Base mental is gone and everything else that I really enjoy playing with is not in my game. So that is how you disable mods. So to enable mods, it's the same process. You can do it from your home screen or you can do it from a save file. You just need to click on the options menu, click on game options, click on other. And you want to enable custom content and mods. So just tick that and you're gonna press okay. And you're gonna go apply changes. Again, you have to exit your game for the mods to be enabled again. So let's exit so we can have our exciting mods back. And there we go, our mods are enabled again. Our exciting woohoo is back. And also just remember that after a game update, your mods will automatically disabled. So when you go into your game after an update and you think, oh no, my mods have disappeared. It's not that they've disappeared. They're actually just being disabled and you just need to go into your options menu and your game options and other and just make sure that your mods are enabled after a game update. Bye Dominic. See you next time.